Hi everyone, hope you are doing well from whatever you're watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, the fight between Raila Molo Dinga and William Samuel Ruto concerning the issue of the four IBC commissioner is not yet over. If Ruto thought that this is going to be a walk in the park, then he was lying to himself. Raila is determined to fight for the right of these commissioners so that justice will be served to them, rather than being mistreated for doing the right thing. And because the committee has been constituted that is checking into this matter, and they will recommend, as we had analyzed earlier, Raila Odinga is approaching a new means to make sure that the right thing is being done. And what is the new mean, means for Raila Molodinga? Yesterday, while somewhere I think in Kisumu, he announced that the Azimio La Umoja will be consulting widely with the people of Kenya, starting from Wednesday, and they are starting with Nairobi County, in a meeting at Kamkunji Ground, to ask for their opinion concerning the issue of the four commissioners, whether should, they should be sent home, or they have to continue with the uh, work. And after that, he will be heading to Mombasa. After Mombasa, he will be Nakuru. And after Nakuru, it will be Kisumu. And then Kakamega. According to Raila Odinga, and he's right on this one, he's saying that IBC is a referee of the game. And therefore, a player, one of the players in the game, should not be involved in appointing the referee once he's still a player. And you see, the way things are going on, eh, is like President Uhuru Kenyatta, sorry, William Samuel Ruto, he wants to appoint people who are friendly to him, so that in the next year election, seemingly, he might just use them like a puppet. After Raila Molodinga's declaration of the, world, the, the widely consultation meetings, William Ruto is not comfortable with that statement. And we will go into that, but first of all, listen to Raila Molodinga. The critical issue of independent electoral commission, commissioners, as you know that uh, this regime, which came into power through the rigging of the elections, is now hell-bent in trying to send home the commissioners who stood firm on the uh, platform of the truth. And we have said that this is not going to be acceptable. The people of Kenya will not accept it because it is now known worldwide that these people lost elections badly and that they told these elections. But now we cannot accept that they will, on top of that they will add insult to injury by sending away these other commissioners and then imposing on Kenyans a user-friendly commission to them. This is not acceptable. And therefore we have said we are going to consult widely with the people of Kenya. We will begin in Nairobi on Wednesday. We will have a meeting with the people of Nairobi at Kamkunji grounds to ask them if they accept that these commissioners should go home. We will then do the same thing in Mombasa. We will do the same thing in Nakuru. We do the same thing in Kisumu, do the same thing in Kakamega, because an independent electoral commission is the referee. It cannot be appointed by a player. So we will not allow the Kenya Kwisha regime to impose a commission on the people of Kenya. Now, Raila Odinga is very clear. You can understand what he's talking about, where he's coming from, and where he's heading to. But then, I want to put more of my focus on uh, President William Ruto's response to Raila Odinga's statement. But before we go deep into that, just a quick request for those who are watching and you are not yet subscribed, please consider subscribing. Turning subscribers, thank you so much. And to all our viewers, please give this video a thumbs up. Thank you, and back to our discussion. Now, if you don't listen carefully to William Samuel Ruto, you might not understand his position on what he's talking about. You might be misled. But if you listen carefully, you will understand the kind of a leader William Ruto is. And uh, Ruto, according to him, is saying that the Azimio La Umoja side should criticize the government 
but again they should keep the country peaceful. And according to him, organizing demonstrations by Asimio and getting Kenyans to do what the opposition want is not actually holding the government into account. He goes ahead to say that street demonstration should not be part of the script of the responsible opposition. <laughs> Unless if Raila Molo Dinga want to be a dictator opposition. So he's referring Raila Molo Dinga into a dictator. Before we analyze William Ruto, please listen to him shortly. Our country, I want to tell our brothers in the opposition to work with us, to criticize whatever they want to criticize, but let's keep the country peaceful. That's all we are asking. We want we want everybody we want everybody to do their job, right? We want to do our job and we wish well the opposition in doing their job, but they should do it peacefully. I do not think organizing demonstrations and um, getting Kenyans to do the things they want Kenyans to do is part of holding any government to account. They are free to criticize what we are doing. That's okay with us and we appreciate, but I want to encourage them not to drive Kenyans against one another. Street demonstrations, street fights, should not be part of the script of any responsible opposition unless they want to be a dictatorial opposition which uh, I don't think that's where they want to go because that works for nobody it doesn't even work for them the truth of the matter is that William Samoe Ruto want to mislead the Kenyans on a statement that Raila Molodinga issued yesterday I never heard anywhere, even if you have listened to, this, to the speech from Raila Odinga, there is no way Raila Odinga has called for demonstrations. Raila is not calling for street demonstration. He was very clear. He is going to call for a, a meeting with Kenyans at Kamkunji and all those other areas in various counties to ask for their views. That is not a demonstration. It will be a kind of maybe a rally or a a baraza, you sit down with the people and take their views. So it's either the, the two, a rally or a baraza. And you take the view of Kenyans. As simple as that. And then from there, at least the country can understand what is the opinion of Kenyans from the public court as far as the view, the, the issue of the four commissioners is concerned. So Ruto is telling the statement to look like Raila Odinga is now calling for maandamano. Raila bado hajaita maandamano. Hata kama hataita labda siku ngine lakini hajafikia yu kiwango ya kuita maandamano. But Ruto is already crying. He's crying for as if Raila Odinga has called already for maandamano to destabilize peace in this country. So number one, I'm seeing a president who wants to play a victim role so that he will pen Raila Molo Dinga as a dictator, just imagine in opposition, dictating him what to do. And then, for him, he is a victim, now seeking for sympathy from Kenyans. Look at that. So in, instead of Kenyans sympathizing with the four commissioners who want to be and procedurally removed from office, they now start sympathizing with William Samuel Ruto in a wrongful way because they have been misled by the president. That is the first thing William Ruto is looking for. Ruto want to brand Raila Monodinga as a dictator. How can you dictate when you are in opposition? You don't hold to power. You don't have the instrument of power. How can you exercise dictatorship? The real dictator here, it is William Samoy Ruto. Why? Because even he's going further to discourage demonstrations. Remember, picketing is in our constitution. You can call for demonstrations so that the government can listen to you. It is protected in our constitution. It is also another way of communicating to a government or an institution. 
kama wakusikii ndio maana you can see even students in universities they can go ahead and demonstrate so that the management can listen to them if you are working at an institution and you feel that you are being mistreated you can demonstrate we saw the the, the pilots at JKIA they were demonstrating by stopping to fly while the aircraft was down <laughs> they down their tools and that was a demonstration there are so many ways you can do that because it is protected in our constitution so ruto by saying that demonstration should not be encouraged it will stabilize say, security in this country why is it in our constitution this is a man who did not believe in the 2010 constitution how do we expect him to protect it he cannot so victim role Ruto want to run away with the issue of appointing new commissioners into the office single-handedly then these people are going to be his favorable his choice so that they will be compromised in the next election so you play all this victim role mislead and misguide Kenyan so that they will see you as a man who's doing the right thing and at the end of the day, the day you will have your team in office and then you want to compete with the the Azmio side yet you have referee who is compromised tell me how we can have a free fair and a, and acceptable election in 2027 it cannot it cannot and lastly it is clear winam ruto is simply showing that he is not comfortable If Raila Molodinga is going to engage Kenyans because he's going to expose him. Number two, his government will be tried to understand how they can manage Raila Odinga. And Ruto also understand the worst thing to do is if you try to attack Raila Odinga at during during such a moment, especially when he is down. That is how Raila Molodinga can shine. So, this clearly shows that William Ruto is already in a panic mode. He is not comfortable with what Raila Odinga want to do because it is going to expose him and number two, it will show the legitimacy on what Raila Odinga is talking about and uh, the real situation as far as the issue of these commissioners is concerned so Raila by calling people to come and uh, give their views already is already popularizing for himself and again it will give an opportunity for Raila Amolo Dinga to even inside this people against this government on many things they have done wrongly so many things they have done wrongly before he got to the issue of firing the IBC commissioners where is food before he go into those issues of appointing these new commissioners what about the drought managing the issue of drought mitigation in this country why people are dying from insecurity and so many other things that alone will make him unpopular and of course it is going to make Raila Odinga more popular going forward ruto is not comfortable